Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel once again. Today we have a custom game from the online ladder and we have Anatan on the color blue playing as the Ottomans versus Oppa playing in the color teal as the Holy Roman Empire and Oppa is Wem if I'm not mistaken. It's a smurf account from Wem. It might be Puppy Paw but I'm pretty sure it's Wem. And this is the map Cliffside. So we have two different ends of the spectrum here. We have the Holy Roman Empire that was buffed recently. And we have the Ottoman Empire that was nerfed recently. So we're gonna see how these two civilizations first fare against each other and how the most recent changes affected them. Interestingly here, Oppa moving the prelate to the gold, leaving an attend no, leaving the sheep. Oh no, he's microing it. There we go. I rarely see this, actually. I rarely see the prelate being microed between the sheep and the gold because I'm I play in platinum and diamond, so rarely see this hap see this happening uh, in my games. And that's when I cast games. I, I feel like I don't see this a lot. It's cool to see because the buff lasts for a while, right? Uh, can you can I see how? Much God damn it! It doesn't. I don't know for how long it is inspiring, but like for example, on the gold, and now you don't need to inspire more on the gold because you almost have the enough amount to edge up, right? On the other side. Oh, no military school for Anatan. I, I personally like this as well, because against the HRE, you, your spears come here and attack the gold, and the prod can just go and heal the villagers. So there is not a lot of gain from those uh, spearmen. Of course, you, you you take away... What I'm reading there... Let me finish my point. You, you, you take away the prod from... Uh, gathering the f from inspiring the food gatherers to heal but still not much value but we have an experimental game from n10 is the sultani trade network sultan honey the sultan ha sultan honey sultani sultan honey trade network this will allow traders to be inside of the landmark and generate gold passively so they don't need to be out in the map exposed to any horseman raid or or wherever and it was buffed in two patches ago so it now it takes 10 traders i think the amount of gold they produce is also less but i think the whole point of that buff or that change is then when you have map control and when it's safe to trade, you take those 10 traders out and you trade. Instead, before you only had 6, so then you would just take those 6 out and it wouldn't be so impactful. With 10 traders, it's a whole different storyline, right? But on the other side of the map, good old Aken Chapel, which will boost everybody in the radius. Oh, what was that? The barracks? I think, yeah, the barracks was too close to the TC, so it will perturb the farms. For later on in the game, stone for an attempt for the other military schools. And I'm interesting to see the impact of the Sultana, the Sultan Hani trade net network. See how much gold it can actually produce, because it also works as a market, if I'm not mistaken. So you can buy and sell food or other resources from there. Yeah, it does. And you start with three, can go up to 10, and the, the, uh, the traders generate up to 24 gold per minute. So if you have 10 inside, it will be 240 gold per minute. That's pretty good. You, you, do, you, you have to pay for the next traders, which is pretty good to balance it out, but 240 per minute on the Feudal Age? That's great, bro. Oh, Manetar Aggression from Opa. Wham! Coming through. The Teal Manetarm running over. Here we go. You can do it, man. Remember, now they run faster by default. The fastest infantry in the game. 
Good reaction time from Anaten. I think he scouted the Minotaurm as well. So he avoids direct confrontation. Minotaurm looking for an angle. More Minotaurms coming in. Three minute arms available for Oppa. Wheelbarrow coming through, also giving more speed to the villagers. Huge wall. Hold on, what is Oppa doing? Anaten knows this. Anaten scouts it. He steps in the wall annoyingly. Actually, steps out. Let's see how many villagers. Oh, oh, only three traders. So Anaten is not investing into traders. No, he doesn't have enough gold. But he wants to go for some upgrades. I don't know what's the plan here for Anaten with the Sultani trade network. Archers coming in as well. Alright, so Manetarm and Archer. Three archers already. Wham, going heavy on the production here. We'll protect the wall. Wait, the villager can... The villager can build that? Really? But the scout is not there. Okay, scout is going Okay, away. Bye-bye, scout. Villager can finish up the wall. It's gonna be a huge wall. No more traders yet for Anaten. I see Pahi eats the field. Burst Vizier point is here. Nice, nice build up. Everything around the town center safe and secure. Ranged. No, melee defense. Oh, because of the Manet Arms. Makes sense, makes sense. Manet Arms walking up. Wait, it's still not built yet. And it, uh, wham, finish the wall. Six minute arms and five archers. No military upgrades for wham so far. More traders for Anaten? No. So, does he want to stay on three traders? Maybe he has some other priorities first. Get some upgrades, then we start. Buying some more traders. It's a good army from Wham. Yeah, the, the Sipahi have no chance here. More minute arms arrive, more archers arrive. 17 units for Wham for Opa at the moment. Crazy boy. Beautiful army. Looking good in teal. Looking for damage. But there is not a lot of places to damage. I see some Sipahis uh, trying to do damage as well. Also not a lot of space. Maybe the wall villager will go down here. Building now a gate. The scout. No, that's a, a Sipahi. It's locked in. No, that's not open. That's not finished. Right. Ten minute arms. Oh, that's a lot of minute arms. And attend with a bunch of villagers on food. I think he clicked, yeah, he clicked Anatolian Hills. We get those extra sheep. Wham is just walking around the base of Anaten, doesn't really find a place to attack. Method is here. Alright, not, not a lot of action happening here, guys, right? Not a lot to do. Anaten is two villagers ahead, though. What is that? Oh! Wham is more units back in the base, protecting his gold node, looking good. Now I'm going to play some HRE, bro, it looks fun. If you play feudal like this. Because then at any given moment you can still go Castle Age because your economy is very good with the Prelate and Akron boost. Oh, but wait, that's a lot of Sipahi. 13 Sipahi. 
The minute arms will tank, I don't know if they, they will do enough damage because with this with the matter they will be attacking faster. They have the plus one melee attack coming through right now. They have plus one melee defense. And Opa, wham, they have no melee upgrade, only ranged attack, and that's it. They're upgrading their spearmen though. So they want more spearmen coming through. Right, not a single fight in the feudal age. 10 minutes of feudal age. Just massing units for both of these players. 17 Sipahi. God damn. And 9 archers as well. It's the Ragnitz Cathedral coming up. Or Opa slash Wham. In the back of the base, two barracks, one archery range, vizier point. It should be the third military school. There is a nice little space here for anything. And attend gnawling eyes on the Ragnits. They know the enemy is going up. And attend far away from the age up. But if Opa is able to go to the age up and get that many times upgrade, that will be very, very good for them. But Anaten is forcing the fight as we speak. Sipahi coming in. I don't know if the many times are enough to sustain this fight here. Oh, they're taking so much damage. No, I think it, there were some archers in the front line. Villagers being attacked in the background. Oh, the men at arms are not doing enough. The archers are helping out a little bit. The method went down. Bro, no, the men at arms weren't enough. The men at arms were not enough. Incredible. I mean, I mean, no, they, they did a good job. They killed some of the Sipahi. Almost all of them. And still two men at arms survived. Alright, so they did. Oh no! The the, the edge up! Five villagers died for Wham here. For Opa. But he has the most military. The men at arms actually did super well. I was overreacting to their performance in battle. But the edge up was cancelled. I think yeah, Wham really needs to commit now. Uh, men at arms. Trying to get some more Sipahi. But four more Sipahi are on the field. Two more coming in for free, I think. More men at arms hitting the battlefield. Ragnitz Cathedral being brought up. What is that? No, it was a wolf, no problem. Still no more traders on the Sultani trade network. Opa reaches the castle age. Can upgrade the men at arms real quick. No, they will upgrade the archers. No, they will upgrade both. Okay, first prelate. Coming out, I think. That's a spearman. Man at arms. First relic already grabbed. Nice. Oh, they take, it, they, they take each other out. Six villagers go down. But that's okay with relics and Akan boost. You can lose up to like 10 villagers. Even more, I think. And it will be alright. And then going to the castle age very, very soon as well. Almost 10 villagers ahead. Great kills. No, they aren't 10 villagers. They are actually 11 villagers ahead. That's actually huge. And they'll be able to spam some crossbows. Get that free manganel. They are walled up. So, actually, no. They are open on this side of the map. Prelate picks up the relic. Three. That's the third relic for Oppa, for Wham. That's going to be huge income. Bro, how the, I know. Okay, I was like, how is Editon with so much food income? Because they are on both deer. With so, professional scouts. Professional scouts. Interesting. Maybe he misclicked. I don't know. 
two relics for Oppa right now. Archers upgraded, man at arms upgraded, food upgraded. Alright, the economy from uh, Wham here will be looking really good with the relics and all its upgrades under the Akron Chapel. And anything is not a lot of units. Nine archers and four Sipahi. But he can also make some knights. And the knights will counter everything that Opa has. Right? A new age begins. Still no more traders for Anatan. He's chilling on three. Villagers? I think they were killing the wolf. And now they're sitting idle. But they're moving away. Ah, because he sees the army walking around the base once again. And just another one more lap. Just one more. Still no, like, real engagement so far. Crossbow's been queued to a bad rally point, actually. They're being terminated as soon as they walk out. But, if given enough time, Remaganel will be here. 7 Sipahi, 9 archers and 3 crossbows. Wham is coming through. And Aten was buying some food, I saw that. Right away. Another Vizier point. Oh, double handed. No, it's the heavy maces. Increasing bonus damage against heavy targets. But there are no heavy targets from Anatan. Just in case he switches into knights, right? But the external food sources are running out. And Ottomans cannot gather from the boar. So, Anatan needs another solution here. He has no space for farms around the town center. Because everything is uh, taken, up, taken up by the military buildings. He's gathering a bunch of wood. I'm sure he wants a farm transition. But that would be so hard, actually. Four military schools, though. No, three. He's gathering up to the, the resources for the fourth one. He's, he's out on the bear. He's not great. Two-handed weapons, here we go. Now, yes. Melee upgrade one for Wham. Oh, bro, this, this is crazy. Wham has so much more units. So much more. They're walking through. Once again. Two secret sites for Wham! It's going crazy! Some crossbows in the back as well. These men at arms will be doing a lot of damage. They're getting... They already have... No. Only have plus one attack. They have plus two. They'll be doing the most damage they can at the moment. Villagers going down from Anatand. Nice. Burning the landmark. But one of Manganel is already here. Oppa with double the unit count of Anatan, though. What's going on in there? Not much. Some Sipahi raiding the villagers that were on the deer. There is one minute arms there, too. Ready to the? They're not doing a lot of damage. Also, the Sipahis are moving around like a lot. So it's hard for the men at arms to actually hit them. Bro, stay quiet. Stay there. Let me hit you. Are the men at arms saying? Nice. Now they can delete them. Yeah. How much damage are these guys doing? Six, uh, 15. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Okay. Opa lost 10 villagers though, they, they killed 3, there are 13 villagers behind. Good game so far though. And still no more traders. Maybe Anatan thinks the investment is not worth it? Right? 
Oh, nice. The wall here, not covering the little hill. So they just can go around. Huge army for Opa. Pulse of Schwabia. Oh, bro. I hate this part. That's the part that I most hate about the HRA. Is that can make, they can make a huge army. And then just go Imperial casually into the most broken landmark in the game. Well, it is what it is then. It is what it is. And not only into the landmark, but the upgrades. The upgrades are the problem, in my opinion. And the cannon emplacements as well. Right? God damn. Oh, man at arms invasion. Huge mangal in the back. Yeah, uh, Ram needs uh, some sprinkles here. To deal with those manganels. Oh, good manganel shot. Opa reaches the Imperial Age. And there you go, Schwabi on the wood line. Also covering the, the Ragnis Cathedral. Tower emplacement, Springle emplacement. Manganel approaching, already a Springle out for N10. Vetro in elite Man at Arm and the lead Archer and Veteran Spearman. Coming through, no blacksmith upgrades just yet. Secret side neutralized. Yeah, and bro, Opa already recovered the villager losses. There's only two bills behind. Another vizier point. Should be for the siege crews to make the siege shoot faster. Emergency repairs coming through. Opa spare. There we go. They separated the army. They're gonna backdoor the manganels. Wait, did they attack the deer? They did. They A moved and attacked the deer. I think it's too many uh, crossbows here for Opa to do something. They're killing one of the manganels. There we go, Culbrin is here, and the Manganel goes down anyway, and the crossbow number is still healthy, but the end of the Springle Tower and GG gets called, I mean, well played, the HRE win condition, go Schwabia, but a lot of army, not a lot of engagements, but it's GG, guys, thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you soon.